Dear students, let me present to you an example of the computation of the variance of a conditional distribution in the case of a joint PDF of two random variables. The joint PDF that I'm considering is f of x, y is equal to 2, where 0 is less than x, less than y, and 0 less than y, less than 1. So, ab isme, how will we proceed? The very first thing to note is that this rather complicated support or domain of this bivariate uh, density function, which is written in two parts, which I just read out, 0 less than x less than y, comma, 0 less than y less than 1, is ko aap ek expression ke andar bhi lik sakte hain. We can write 0 less than x less than y less than 1. Or is ek expression ko hum split dobara bhi kar sakte hain into two portions but not the same as what it was before. We can also write it as x less than y less than 1 and 0 less than x less than 1. If you uh, draw the graph of this domain, you will find that it is easier for you to understand all these points that I have just made. All right, iske baad, how do we proceed? to find the variance of the conditional distribution? Well, first and foremost, we need to find the marginal distributions. Marginal nikalenge, uske baad wo formula apply karenge, jiske through we will get the conditional distributions. So first of all, to find the marginals, how do we proceed? Baki to simple hai, jaise hota hai. Sirf ye yaad rakhe, ke wohi because of that complicated domain, what limits you have to apply when integrating with respect to x and what limits when integrating with respect to y. Well, when you are wanting to find the marginal distribution of y, you will be integrating with respect to x and the limits have to be, my dear students, in this particular case, 0 to y. Jo expression aapke saamne abhi mene rakha hai, ek expression ek wahid jo ke us situation ko depict kar sakta hai usi ki taraf bhi agar aap dekh lein to aapko nazar aa jayega ke as far as integration with respect to x is concerned the limits have to be 0 to y isi tarah in order to find the marginal distribution of x you will be integrating with respect to y and this time the limits have to be x to 1 all right let us then proceed. To find the marginal distribution of x, you take the integral and you do the steps. And what is the result? As you can see on the screen, f of x is equal to 2 into 1 minus x, uh, such that x goes from 0 to 1. Jo marginal distribution ki domain ya support hai in this particular problem, for both distributions, it is going to be 0 to 1. Again, just have a look at the domain of the bivariate function carefully and also draw the graph and then it will be clear to you that what I am saying is correct. Isi tarah, find the marginal distribution of y, do the steps, you can see them on the screen now and what do we get? We get f of y is equal to 2y such that 0 is less than y and y is less than 1. Yani, y lies between 0 and 1. All right, now that we've found the marginal distributions, next step is to find the conditional distributions. Now, what is the formula for the conditional distributions? Well, f of x given y is equal to f of xy divided by the marginal distribution of y. And f of y given x is f of x, y divided by the marginal distribution of x. So just put the values. What do you get? You get f of x given y is equal to 1 over y. 
and f of y given x is equal to 1 over 1 minus x. Achha, ye to expression to aage. Lekin ab again be very very careful in writing the domains of each of these two conditional distributions. Domain keh lein ya support keh lein, it's the same thing. Here, because of that complicated uh, domain of the bivariate function, what is uh, the appropriate domain, that, what do I have to write for f of x given y? Students, it has to be 0 less than x less than y. And for the other one, f of y given x, my dear students, it has to be x less than y less than 1. Yani wohi jo aapne integral lete vak jis tarah kiya tha na, usi tarah se you will have it over here. Alright, iske baad what do we do next? Next, we would like to find the conditional mean of x given y. Kyunke hum pehle ye nikalenge, uske baad hum baad mein kuch aur nikalenge jis se variance jo humara ultimate goal hai. Uski taraf hum ja sakenge. So, the expected value of x given the random variable y equal to the small y, some particular value. What is the formula to find this? Expected value of x given y. Well, the formula is integral and because this integral is to be with, this, uh, with respect to x, so the limits are going to be 0 to y. So the integral 0 to y of x into f of x given y with respect to x. Jaisa ke aapko maloom hai, hum bunyadi taur pe expected value of x nikal rahe hain. Is liye hume integrate bhi with respect to x hi karna hai. Sirf jo baat dekhne ki hai, wo ye hai, ki agar unconditional mean ho, aap simply e of x nikal rahe ho, to aapka formula kya hota hai? Integral x into f of x dx. Lekin yaha, because it is conditional mean, to aapko integral x into f of x given y or aage wohi dx. Yani f of x unconditional ya marginal keh li jay is case me. Of course, that's the marginal one. Uski jagah pe you will be writing the pdf of the conditional distribution. Yani f of x given y. All right, let us substitute hamara jo f of x given y abhi thodi der pehle humne nikala tha. What was it? 1 over y. So hamara expression kya ban gaya? Integral from 0 to y, x into 1 over y dx. Isko aap solve kar lije. And what is the final result? It is y over 2. y over 2. Aur iske saath, phir aapne y ki all possible values likhni hai. Yani, aap likhenge 0 less than y less than 1. Ab aap thoda sa shayad yaha pe confuse ho rahe ho ke aapne expected value of x nika li hai. Conditional veshak wo hai but it is the expected value of x. To expected value of x to a constant hona chahiye. To students isko kis tra interpret karna hai? Isko bade ghor se sunye. Actually, this ko aap is tra interpret kar sakte hain ke wo jo small y, some particular value of y, wo value that can be any number between 0 and 1. So for example, agar mein y ki value 0 0.5 ya 1 by 2 le loon, to abhi jo mera e of x given y aya hai, wo y by 2 hai, to y ki value jo 1 by 2 rakhungi, to kya a jayega? I will have 1 by 2 or divided by 2, so that is 1 by 4. So, wo constant a gaya na ji. Phir sunne, y ki value, 0 se 1 ke beech mein kuch bhi ho sakti hai. Agar y ki value mene 1 by 2 li, to phir meri ye jo conditional mean hai, uski value a gai, 1 by 4. To isi tarah, you can have other values of y, and therefore, other values of the conditional mean. Iske baad, isi tarah, students, aap expected value of x square given y nikaal lije. Bilkul wohi tarikekar. Aur iska result, as you can see on the screen, 
it comes out to be y square over 3. And again, we have to write with it that y lies between 0 and 1. Ab jab ke ye dono nikal aai hai, now we can very quickly find the conditional variance. Variance ka shortcut formula aam halat mein kya hota hai? Variance of x is equal to expected value of x square minus expected value of x whole square. Yahan pe aap conditional kar rahe hai, formula waise hi hoga. Variance of x given small y is equal to expected value of x square given small y minus expected value of x given small y whole square. Yani formula ka pattern bilkul hoi hai. Sirf itni si baat hai ke is vakt hum conditional cheez hai uske andar rakh rahe hai. And so substitute ka lije y square over 3 minus y by 2 whole square. Solve ka lije. The final result comes out to be y square over 12. Iske saad bhi zaroor, iske foran baad comma dale aur likhe 0 less than y less than 1. So this is the conditional variance of x given y. Aur bilkul isi tarah you can proceed to find the conditional variance of y given x.